ask the poll question of John Ridley, who's, uh, as you know, fertile mind uh, and pop culture mind will definitely uh, hit this spinning curveball out of the park. Okay, John, what's the, as you know, it's the anniversary of the Red Letter Day in the history of science, (laughs) the invention of the flux capacitor, November 5th, 1955. (laughs) I I know you're aware of that. What's the best fictional invention in movie history? The flux capacitor, the Star Trek transporter, the Mission Impossible mask making machine, or the Men in Black neuralizer. Um, do I get to? Uh, do, do I have a write-in candidate? Yes, you can. Absolutely. I mean, please, it's a democracy. We're all we're, we, all votes are counting here. We count all votes, the, John. Yeah, the, the the best science fiction invention I have to say is the lightsaber. I, oh. I you know, it bar none. Um, <laughs> you, one man alone, one person, man, woman. Uh, he, she, or they, with a lightsaber, standing against stormtroopers or the New Order troopers. Uh, it, it, it's not fighting at a distance. It's up close. It's the Bushido code. Um, it's also, it, it will gauge you as a father because once you put a lightsaber in your kid's hand and they want to fight, <laughs> it, how much punishment are you willing to take for your kid's enjoyment? Uh, is that why? Is I, that is is that what Vader was going through Vader's mind against uh, Luke? Then is that what you're saying? Spoiler? Yeah, I, you know, more than <laughs> when the the Greek tragedy Oedipal stories of this. father and son fighting that become realized when you are fighting with your son and he whacks you in the hand and you go, okay, I can either freak out or I can go, okay, my dad's just going to take a little, um, you know, me time break. I quiet John win, and I gotta you know get into a pose and you know recharge my uh, Jedi batteries, and then I'm gonna <laughs> we're gonna fight again. Now, to me, I just have too many personal you know being a Comic Con racing across the crowded floor to get your kid a lightsaber. Uh, those are my memories. So I, I have to say, lightsabers are the all time. And I will just say I was gifted a lightsaber by George Lucas. So oh it's, it's, come on now. That's a great That's a whole other thing. humble brag right there. George Lucas gave you a lightsaber. He did. When I wrote Red Tails, I wrote Red Tails that George Lucas produced, and yes. I found out I got the job. He, he shipped me a lightsaber, which I gifted to my older son, um, although gifting was showing and then putting away where he can't touch it. Nice, of course, um, please. I mean, let's be... Yeah. So, it, it, uh, it, it does, and this is a silly question, but I'm going to ask you, it doesn't light up, right? I mean, it doesn't, like, actually have a... A saber to it, right, John? Uh, it, you uh, let me let me. It doesn't come with its own CGI. I, I, it doesn't come with its own CGI. It, now that I'm telling the story, Rich, I have to think about where it even is <laughs> because I'm like, as I tell the story, I'm like, what George? I got George Lucas gave me a lightsaber. It's That's how I found out that I got a movie that I wrote. And I'm like thinking now, wait a minute, where is that lightsaber? Oh, oh my go gosh, you better go look for that. Oh my man. Oh, this is great. Um, so, so I uh, hate to throw out your vote totals, but in a time when we're all counting the votes, let me just throw it in there, the chaos, you know. And, 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 it's all and good. Up the gum, it's all good, John. Work. I said before the show, I'm like, should we include the lightsaber? And it was summarily rejected. So it's all good. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.